But today we're talking about happiness. <laughs> and I know, like we talk about this on the show, like we're not here bypassing the stress and the overwhelm if that's what you're feeling. I know it's true. Holidays bring so much joy, so much love, so much belonging and gratitude. But there can also be the heartache, the resentments, the loneliness, the stress, the overwhelm, like for various reasons. Hey mama, welcome to Naturally Empowered Living, your safe space to guiding you on your unapologetic self-awakening journey to learning your energy of alignment and feeling good again. This is your weekly sanctuary to wake up from autopilot and transform the way you approach motherhood and life through the power of meditation, energetics, and root cause therapy. It's my mission to help you embody the foundations of self-love, trust, and interconnection to be unapologetic in the evolution of who you are. Here, we honor all parts of ourselves, the messy and the magic, the shadows and the light. If you are ready to get to the roots of cultivating real change, warm up that cold coffee, pop in your earbuds, and tighten that top knot, mama. Let's discover our power within together. What is up, beautiful? How are you? Welcome back to another episode of the Naturally Empowered Living Podcast. Welcome to December. Welcome to the final month of 2024. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like we could all relate to that. I This episode is going to be so short and sweet. It's going to bring us back to the foundations of our being, the simplicities of life. And hopefully what you can take out of this is when you're going through hard times or when you just need that gentle reminder of what makes you happy. Like where does your happiness reside? So I really want to help you, encourage you, to push you to choose one thing. What's one thing that you can do today to make yourself happy? I know the holidays are coming. If you're, you know, in the States, in Canada, like Boxing Day, Thanksgiving, like we were here. Christmas is coming. New Year's, 2025. I can't believe it. Like the holidays are coming. And I can give you all the tips and tricks to simplify your holidays around budgeting and meal prepping and gift giving and family get togethers and travel and keeping it simple and relieving the stress. Like you could go back to, you know, this time of year in past episodes and I have those episodes for you. If that is what you're looking for, sift through episodes 6, 7, 8, 58, 63, 64. Like I have those types of episodes if that is what you're looking for. But today we're talking about happiness. <laughs> and I know, like we talk about this on the show, like we're not here bypassing the stress and the overwhelm if that's what you're feeling. I know it's true. Holidays bring so much joy, so much love, so much belonging and gratitude, but there can also be the heartache, the resentments, the loneliness, the stress, the overwhelm, like for various reasons. But today's episode, we are simply choosing happiness in the moment that you choose. We are awakening that part of ourselves. Let it be an activity, like do you like to draw and you haven't drawn forever and forever? Or you just would love to take a bath or make that phone call to your best friend. Is it hugging a loved one, one of your pets, having those snuggles? Like what is something that will make you happy? I encourage you to do this five minute practice today and like heck, like every day, <laughs> especially on the days that you need that loving reminder that you, your innate essence of peace, Presence, confidence, clarity, belief, joy, love, balance, ease, flow is still you. You are still her and you can connect with her anytime you need. And sometimes we just need kind of like that grounding moment that there's so much going on in in my here and now in my life. But when you zoom out, zoom out a little bit and like actually physically or not physically, but like in your mind's eye, right? Like look down on yourself, look down on your life. And then it it brings, at, at least this is how I envision it. When I do that, like when I remove myself from what's going on, like in the here and now, when I remove myself and I become that observer, like the perspectives, it it comes back to the perspectives of what I truly care about. You know, the the simplicity, the love, the presence, like the time presence the choosing of joy and happiness, what makes me happy, what what lights my family up, like what that means to you. And it might, you know, be what I just shared or it might be something different. But when we, when we zoom out a little bit to see the picture of life versus 
the hustle and bustle and stress and overwhelm of all the to-do lists and everything that you have going on, especially in the, such a busy time of the season, this perspective shift, this zooming out practice, it just, it it helps so, so much. And I, I it helps me. So I hope that it can help you too. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through this quick exercise. You could come back to this part of the episode or remember this moving forward. It's going to be very simple. What I want you to do is just get comfortable wherever you are. If you're driving or not, like if you are driving, it's it's okay. I encourage you to come back to this when you're not driving so you can solely focus on, you know, this piece and not the driving piece. But if you're driving right now, continue to listen. If you're not driving, just go ahead and get comfortable. If you're sitting, if you're laying down, if you're standing, however you feel to allow your body to settle in. Notice your jaw unclenching. Notice your shoulders dropping and relaxing down. Just breathing, focusing on that inhale and your exhale. Just settling in to this moment to allow yourself to just be for five minutes, to just be with you, be with your body, be with your presence, and to allow your connection. If you feel called, you could place a hand on your heart. And I want you to think of what will bring you happiness today. Don't overthink it. You may have already had something pop in your head. Allow that to be. Trust yourself. And this is something that you have control over. Not an expectation of something or someone else. Something that you take pride in creating your happiness. You take that ownership of creating your happiness in this moment today. I just got the biggest smile on my face. I hope that you feel into this energy too. To connect with yourself. And if you feel called, I want you to, in your mind's eye, zoom out. Zoom out a little bit. Paint that picture in your head. Maybe you're floating or flying up. And your life in this present moment is getting smaller and smaller as you're rising up. Maybe you're resting in the clouds. However you envision this, zoom out a little bit. Or you becoming the observer of your life. What's going on? What feelings you're feeling? How you're holding yourself? Where are you? What are you doing in these moments? What are you wearing, how you're holding yourself? What are you observing about your current life? And as you're looking down at yourself, what is something that you want to tell yourself? That first message that comes comes to your mind's eye as you're looking down on yourself, observing your life in this moment, what do you want to tell yourself? Trust yourself, that first thing that comes in, and carry that message with you, that message of loving connection with yourself. 
carry that with you and do that thing that brings you happiness today. And go ahead and you know, come back into your body. Allow yourself to reconnect and orient. We're zooming back into the present time. <laughs> Take a couple more deep breaths. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes if they're closed. Take your hands off your heart if they're still there. Just come back to the present moment. I hope that you felt that connection. I hope that you got a beautifully loving message. And I encourage you to carry that, that message and that happiness with you today and every day moving forward through the end of the year. Make December your month of happiness. I have a whole library of other meditations, energy alignments, and healings that you can grab. You could do them by yourself. You could schedule a session with me, naturallyempoweredliving.com forward slash products. And I'm always adding to that library for you. So if there's something that you're looking for, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I'm sending you so much love and happiness. And I'm so grateful for you. Until next week, as always, simply be you. You have everything inside of you to learn your energy of alignment and be unapologetic in who you are. I'm sending my love and so much light. Happy December. Did you find this episode we read about empowering peace with my love of you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for spending this sacred time with me on Naturally Empowered Living. I pray this episode has brought you a step closer to tuning into your energy of alignment. And if it has, please consider leaving a written review sharing how this show has impacted you. Your feedback truly lights me up and helps other moms find their way to this community. And if it feels right, please share this episode with another mom who might be struggling to remind her that she's never alone. Be sure to check the show notes for more ways to connect and explore how we could work together to reclaim your power and deepen your relationship within. Thank you. I appreciate all you are and all you do.